Okay, so I'm Ali from grade 12 ASP. Now this video is also for grade 12 ASP studying in ATHS schools. And this is my third video. And the title of the video is about solubility. Now, when I say solubility, solubility in brief means if something is soluble means it will dissolve. So solubility is dissolving. Dissolving means I take a solid. This is a spoon full of solid. OK, and then I put it in water. And then let's see what happens when I put something in water. This is called the solubility or if it will dissolve in water or not. Now, if I put a solid in water, it have three scenarios. Number one, all of it will ionize. Let me give you an example. If we take an ACL solid, this is your table salt, and I put it in water, what will happen? It will dissociate from here, and it will form an A plus and Cl minus. As you can see here, if I place three NaCl's in water, I will get three Na plus and three Cl minus. Okay, so I say here, this salt is soluble. Soluble means ionize completely. Okay, type. Now what happens if I have a salt that, uh, this is another type of salt, let me say this is AGCL, this is AGCL solid. As you can see, only one dissociates into from here, AG plus and CL minus, and two stayed as AG CL together, okay? So I say the salt is slightly soluble in water, okay? Now, this is another salt that does, does not dissociate at all in water. So I will say this is insoluble salt, okay? So I have these three cases. Now, in case of a soluble salt, what will, what will I say? I will say NaCl no. solid. This is double arrow. Uh, th this will dissociate completely, and this will give me an A plus and Cl minus. Okay, and an A plus is aqueous, and Cl minus is aqueous. Okay, if this is solid. Uh, an ACL is solid. This will ionize completely into an A plus and Cl minus. Okay, now how is the case if we have a slightly soluble Salt. In case of a slightly soluble salt, I have a GCL solid. This will ionize into AG plus and CL minus. This is aqueous and this is aqueous. Now, I have one part that is still as AG solid and one part that is ionized. How can I write this in my equation? I will put double arrow. Okay, so here I put one arrow because it ionized completely, and here I will put double arrow because it ionized only slightly. Here I have insoluble salt, so nothing happens, so I'm not going to write an equation. Now my main concern in this lesson is only this, the slightly soluble salts. Okay, now for slightly soluble salts, I have double arrow, which means I have equilibrium, so I will write KEQ. Now, KEQ will be products of reactants. Products are AG plus times CL minus over. Now, this is solid. I will say over one. Okay? So, hello. Our issue with the content of Hulu and okay, equilibrium here, I will call it KSP. Now, what is S and what is P? S is solubility because I am dissolving. P is product. Product because here this one is multiplied by this one. Okay, and K is constant. So you have to be careful. Don't confuse the solubility product constant KSP with the solubility which are represented by S. Okay, so the solubility is S. Solubility product constant is KSP. Now, here as you can see, only one AGCL ionized to give me one AG plus and one CL minus uh, in terms of ions. So if the amount that dissolved here is S, and I chose S because S is solubility, how many AG pluses I will get? I will get S. How many CL minuses I will get? I will get also S, okay? So I will say AG plus is S times CL minus is S. So I will say KSP is equal to S squared. Now, either they will give you the solubility in numbers and they will say for you calculate the solubility product constant, 
or they will give you the solubility product constant and they will ask you to calculate the solubility. Okay, done. Now let's do another practice on another salt. Now let's see here. What did I dissolve in water? I dissolved AGCL solid in water. Notice that only one AGCL ionize into ag plus and cl minus and all the rest is in the solid form now let me write the reaction the reaction is agcl solid this is double arrow ag plus aqueous and cl minus aqueous now in order to write the ksp expression which is p over r the products are these so i will say ag plus times Cl minus over this is solid, so this will be one. Now, if the amount that dissolved is S, and here in this case S is one, one AgCl dissolved, how many I, Ags I will get? I will get also S, how many Cls I will get S? So this is equal to S times S, this is equal to S squared. But now my question is, how the KSP will be S squared, or sometimes the expression will be different? Now we will see this in the next page. Now let's do this. Here I have AGBR. AGBR is a solid that I will dissolve it in water. It will dissociate from here. What do you think the products will be? The products will be AG and BR. If you are confused about the charges, it's okay. The main thing is to know how many AGs do we have and how many BRs do we have. Now the equation will be AGBR solid. طبعا دبل ارو اي هاف اي جي بلس اند بي ار ماينس اند ذيس تو ار اكويس اوكي ناو اف ذيس از اس ذيس از اس اند ذيس از اس ناو ذا كي اس بي از ايكوال تو برودكتس اوفر رياكتنس اي جي بلس تايمز بي ار ماينس اوفر 1 which is equal to s times s which is equal to s square now let's see here i have a l o h 3 if I dissociate it from here, what do you think it will ionize into? It will ionize into Al and 3OH. Okay, so the equation will be AlOH3 solid double arrow Al plus 3 plus 3OH minus. Now, if this is S, this will be S. This one will be 3S. Okay, فلاحظوا أول 3 حتظهر معي in front of S. Now let me write the KSP expression. KSP is equal to P over R. Now the products are AL plus 3 times Tibu on Hatkun OH minus power 3 because coefficients they become powers. Okay, which is AL is S, OH is the 3S power 3. Okay, Hala, this power is for the 3 and for the S. So I will say S times. 2 power 3 is, uh, sorry, 3 power 3 is the 3 times the 3 times the 3, this is 27. S power 3, so this is equal to 27 times S power 4, okay? فإن تلاحظوا أنه هون الـ KSP هي S square هون الـ KSP هي 27 S power 4 فدائما الـ expression will be different according to the ions. Now I think, pause the video and try to understand what happens when this one dissociates in water okay i will take this one i place it in water what will happen first of all you have an a2 so this will give you two an a plus hello one common mistake the students do here they say co3 means the three co okay three co means you have three c and three o but here you have one c and three o so this is not correct so co3 will be co3 you will not say 3CO, okay? Time. Hello, now let's write the equation. Na2CO3 solid, طبعاً double arrow. This will give you 2Na plus CO3. If this is S, this is 2S, and this is S. So 2, أول مرة طلعت in front of S. Now the other time, it will be a power. When I say KSP is equal to Na squared, إذا ال2 رح تطلع معي مرتين، مرة in front of S ومرة حتكون power times CO3، okay? which is equal to 2S square times S، this is equal to 4S power 3. Okay? Now pause the video and try to do this one. 
Same, when I divide it from here, it will give me 2K and CRO4. Okay, so K2, CRO4, solid double arrow, 2K plus CRO4. Okay, now the KSP will be equal to products over reactants, K squared times CRO4, 2S squared times S, which is 4S cubed. Okay, now dissociate this from here. What does it give you? This will give you CA plus 2 and O3, because the 2 is for both of them. There is a bracket, okay? So this is S, this is 2S. So the KSP will be equal to CA times NO3 squared, which is S times 2S, which is 4S cubed. Okay? Yeah, let's try also to do this one, divide it from here. This will give you 2CL and PB. This is S, this is 2S. So the KSP will be equal to PB times CL square S times 2S square, which is equal to 4S cubed. Hello, as I said previously, if they say for you calculate the solubility means S and they give you the solubility product constant or the opposite, they will give you the KSP and they say for you calculate the S. OK, Type. now let's do practice. I have three questions for practice for you. One of them is the AP. Oh my God, what happened? Okay, now this is an AP question. Answer the following questions about the solubility of CaOH2, and they gave me the CS, uh, KSP. Well, and they want you to write the balanced chemical equation, and I will add for you part B, calculate the solubility. Okay, when we say calculate means I want it in numbers. First of all, CaOH2 solid, this will dissociate into Ca plus 2OH. Okay, this is aqueous, this is aqueous. The charges will not matter. Even if you, you do not write the charges, they will not affect your calculation, okay? This is S, this is S, this is 2S. Now the KSP will be equal to Ca times OH square, taban over one because this is solid. I will say S times 2S squared. This is 4S cubed. Now the KSP is given 1.3 times 10 to the minus 6. This is equal 4S cubed. You put it in your calculator and then you calculate S and the unit of S is molarity, which is moles per liter or grams per liter. Okay, because S is the concentration. Clear? Hello. Sometimes they might say for you, what is, okay, let me put part C for you. Now, the question might be, what is the concentration of Ca plus 2? Okay, Hello. Ca plus 2 is S. So the concentration of Ca plus 2 will be S that you calculated here. Okay, so they might ask you, what is the concentration of OH minus what is the concentration of OH minus? Here in this case, the OH is 2S. So the S you calculated here, you multiply it by 2, and then you write the answer. Okay? So if they ask you for the concentrations or the solubility, you have to know the answer. It's very easy. Now let's do another question. Now this question is from last year exam. You have silver oxalate, Ag2C2O4. Now when I dissociate it, it will give me 2Ag and C2O4. Okay, write the expression. The one we will start with the equation. Double arrow, 2Ag plus C2O4. This is aqueous and this is aqueous. Okay, now the KSP will be products over reactants. Ag squared times C2O4. Okay, now, now let's write the solubility. If this is S, this is 2S, and this is S, this is equal to 2S squared times S. Lahzo, no, appears twice. Mara in front of S, mara as a power. 
So this will be 4s squared times s. This will give me 4s cubed. Now calculate the solubility. So he wants s. Simply you have the KSP 5.40 times 10 to the minus 12 is equal to 4s cube, and then you solve for s and the unit will be molarity. Okay, now let's do another question. Okay, three equimolar samples of Z these compounds after each solution is stirred. According to the KSP values, which one will have the lowest Zn plus 2 concentration? Okay, so I need to find the Zn plus 2 concentration in each case. Hello, here for this one, the Zn will be, this one will dissociate into Zn times CO3. So if this is S, this is also S. So here in this case, the KSP is equal to S squared. Now KSP is given, so S is equal to square root of KSP. Now here, this one will dissociate into Zn and C2O4. This is S, this is S. So KSP is equal to S squared also. So S is equal to square root of KSP. Okay, here, be careful. Now this one will give you Zn and 2OH. So this is S, this is 2S. So the KSP will be equal to S times 2S squared, 4S cubed. Okay, so KSP is equal to 4S cubed. S is equal to the third root of KSP over 4. You find S in each case and then you choose the least one. Okay, because S is ZN. He's asking you for ZN. S is ZN. S is ZN. S is ZN. Okay, so we call Maral S is ZN. So you calculate S and you choose the least one. Okay, now one more question from last year exam. Which of the following is the expression for CDOH2? Taban, this one will ionize into CD and 2OH. So whenever I write the expression, this will be CD times OH squared. Okay, if I want to write it in terms of S, this is S, this is 2S. So I will say S times 2S squared. This will give me 4S cubed. But he didn't ask for this. He asked only for the expression. So the answer is uh, D. I hope this video was beneficial for you. And... Study well for your exams.